Hey there, it's Dusty Thunder with another Reddit story for you. This one is titled, Am I the Ask Not for Smashing a Little Girl's Face in the Cake? I wonder if OP meant to say, Am I the Ask Not for Smashing a Cake on a Little Girl's Face? Or like, push, I, I don't know. It's, it's written like smashing a little girl's face. Sounds weird to me. Yesterday, we had a delayed birthday party for my nephew, 8 male, as he had his appendix removed during his birthday. In a long line of illnesses that he has had over the last few years, that was the most recent issue. He was born premature. The last two years, it was immediate family only. This year, we went all out. We got a bouncy castle, a chocolate fountain, booked tickets for go-karts for next weekend, a big cake with different uh, marzipan roses and plant leaves molded in chocolate from different trees. He's very interested in botany and insects. The cupcakes also had different flowers, leaves, and insects on them. This cost my sister a lot as they were painstakingly made due to the details. My brother-in-law's friend is married to a woman that is a bit special. He is not a very close friend, but he is included in events. They were both married previously and have three, his, and two, hers, children from previous relationships, all of them above 15. They do have a 10-year-old daughter, Megan, together, known as their rainbow baby, and she was born after two IVF rounds, four miscarriages, and one stillbirth. She will gladly tell everyone about her health, journey to conception, and miracle baby, even if you try to shut her up. She wore a cream-colored dress at my sister's wedding, upstaged another friend of hers proposal by announcing her pregnancy. When her own sister-in-law graduated, she faked being ill as she has only gone as far as college and not beyond and couldn't take the attention her sister-in-law was getting. She fakes fainting spells when she doesn't get the attention she needs. Her daughter does the same. She will fake a seizure when the conversation topic moves on from her, etc. Oh, like a bunch of the scenarios that that OP just listed here. I think we've read the stories for. I think the person that he's referencing has been the subject in several stories that we've read. That is wild. At the party, I was in charge of the food and I set up the cakes, cupcakes and other refreshments in the front room as there would be lots of children running around. and We didn't want grubby hands all over them before my nephew blew out the candles. Megan kept disturbing me going in and out of the room and her mother egged her on. She asked if she could take pictures of Megan eating a cup cake and then they would join the others in the garden. I said no and locked the door after I had everything set up and put the key in my bag. After about an hour or so of games, people started to move towards the table area and my sister asked me to go get the candles and cake ready. Megan ran ahead of me as I entered the hallway. She unlocked the door, which to me was a surprise as the key should have been in my bag. Her mother was almost shoulder to shoulder with me when Megan dipped her nose and cheeks in the cake and had this deranged trying to be cute smile on her face. She picked one of the flowers off the cake and ate it. Her mother cheered her on and took a picture before I could react, saying that the first pick of the flowers was hers anyway for being special. A few more people were in the hallway at this point, including my nephew and sister. He didn't look happy. I don't know what came over me, but I walked up to Megan and smashed her head into the cake. Give an OP this for that. The aftermath was not pretty. Her mother started screeching, which brought more people into the small hallway at the front room. Megan started crying, and her father threatened to do some not-so-nice things to me before my brother-in-law managed to interfere. He had to literally drag him out of the house. Some people in the crowd laughed, others stayed quiet. Then those who missed it asked questions, and I explained what happened. Megan and her mother, who were still in the room, tried to justify their actions, even saying that I was the one that ruined the cake. Others sided with me that nobody wanted to eat the cake. Others sided with me that nobody wanted to eat a cake with Megan boogers. In the end, they left. My sister has canceled Megan and her family's go-kart tickets. She also billed Megan's mother for the cake. Megan's mother forwarded the bill to me via WhatsApp message, but I refused to pay for it. She, she said what her daughter did was fixable, but how I reacted was not. She also billed me for Megan's dress dry cleaning. I have no intention on paying that either. There has been quite a commotion on Facebook and WhatsApp groups as my sister is threatening with small claims court. The older generation says I'm the asshole as I reacted inappropriately. Am I the astronaut for making a mountain out of a molehill? Relevant comments, OP when asked if she apologized to her nephew for causing a scene at his party. Thanks for the thoughtful reply. I have already apologized to him as he is still upset about the cake today. I told him I would make it up to him. He says he knows the cake was ruined due to Megan's behavior, but was still sad that his birthday party became about Megan and her mother. Even when the children were done eating the remainder of the food, they talked about the incident and didn't talk too much about his party. Thinking back, I guess I should have put her mother's face in the cake. 
A well done is done, and I don't have a time machine. Update, September 17th, 2023, being the bigger person. I ended up paying for the dry cleaning and apologized to Megan. No, no, OP, why? Megan's father agreed to and paid for the cake and some extra cash to make up for a ruined birthday. Megan's mother is banned from future family events. Her father will only be invited to certain things, minus his wife and Megan. My nephew has put it behind him, and I will take him to an amusement park of his choice and pay for him and his closest friends. <laughs> what? This kid sounds awesome. She's 10. Megan is 10 and, and acts like this. The nephew was eight. Um, so at first, when I was reading this, I was thinking that OP was a male. And I was like, there is a difference. Like it or not, there would be a difference between a dude shoving a 10-year-old girl's face into a cake versus a woman shoving her face into a cake. It would be different. It would be worse if it were a dude. Uh, relief to hear that OP is is a female because that makes it not as bad. Um, and also, it sounds like everybody's tired of Megan shit and her mom's. So uh, anybody could have found themselves in this position and done the exact same damn thing. How spiteful. And uh, and I don't know. I don't know. Candy Thunder, if this is what what Ava Thunder would call a pick me girl or, or what it is, but uh, it how attention seeking can you possibly be to be told no and then to shove your way into the room as soon as the door is unlocked and start ruining shit on purpose because you get the first pick anyway, because you're the special child. Navy Thunder's our rainbow baby, and we would never let her act like this. Never. The fact that Megan's parents are raising her to be this way makes them the biggest assholes here. Both of them. Sounds like more so mom, but dad, dad dad's an accomplice. Dad enables it. Those two people end up right here for not giving a single shit about anybody else on the planet and just letting Megan run rampant and egging her on, enabling this kind of behavior, basically telling her that's the way she, uh, she should act. She deserves to act. She gets the first pick of the flowers off the cake anyway. You can ruin whoever's birthday party you want, sweetheart. They're raising Megan to be ask on one as well. She's 10 and she's already there. It's going to take a hard pivot to get her away from there. And I don't think it's going to happen. I think these are the kind of people who instead of uh, instead of changing the way that they're parenting or changing the way that they're behaving would rather burn bridges and find new people and burn bridges and find new people and burn bridges and find new people. And hey, the Internet probably loves her. So everything's groovy. <laughs> it would suck to have Megan and her mom in your family, would it not?